The stairs, we don't have enough room to run the stairs. Do what? Now, I'm sitting here talking to the camera. Oh. Uh, since we didn't have enough room to where we wouldn't want to stop the stairs to block off this door, we tore out this wall. We're going to make the landing above the hot water heater, which means we've got to take out half that wall going up. So we're going to have eight, uh, 10 steps, which will put us up to about 80 inches, which is going to be the exact height that we need to go over the pantry. Well, to keep from taking the stairs and coming from the ceiling, all the way down, we'd have to move this door. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this. We're going to put us a landing, a landing right here, and then we're going to return and come back up the other side. Which means the landing will come across. They'll have some stairs coming up this way, and then back this way, rather than having a straight run to where it would take up a lot more hall, hallway space than if we did a did a U shape. So the first thing we got this wall out. This wall's gone. This wall stayed. This is going to be the main support wall. We're going to come in and cut it up. Whatever we determine, around 90 inches or so, and then from that point will be the next level. And then we'll have to figure how far back we need to cut the ceiling for the overhead clearance. And we'll do that here in just a minute. Okay, we're extending our landing out the four inches. That's the reason we're putting this false wall in here, because our, our stairs are going to be going up there, and that's going to be the beginning of our... You still need those four teams? No! What I want you to do is just put the eight in there when I get this up to the right height. Okay. Uh, push it to the top and nail it. Okay. Uh, where's my... you're right there, why don't you go ahead and shoot it. All right. I think when you did put it up, it, it did drop down just a hair. All right. That's a little better. Let me get a little bit more. Uh, 
find some kind of one buy. Oh, we got one out there. One buy, I got plenty of. Face. We're going to run some supports down to the floor. We're going to mount our stairs. And then right here where this 2 by 4 is is where the landing is going to be. And then we're going to come over to 36 inches and have our stairs run in. So far, so good. All right. Which is your factory, and you know, do you have one? Um, they both. I think they're both both cut. Okay. Get a ladder and get up there. Set that right there at the top. Okay. What am I doing? Am uh, I just maybe this end. Yeah, right there. This one. This will be. It. I mean, we're getting. That's all right. We can feel that. As long as both edges are, are plump. Let me give you that level. That dip right might have thrown us off. Try to see how square it is. Pretty good? Oh man, that's right dead center. Okay. Good deal. All right, nail the heck out of that thing. So then I'll go out there and start cutting that other, uh, that other stair run. Okay. And then uh, we'll need. Uh,
Stairs. Well, I'll tell you what. This would be even a better idea. Okay. So, you're going to have to move that big ladder out of here somewhere. I'm hoping. This, oh, yeah. That'll work perfect. Uh, let's see. There's 36. Okay, so we need to go 30, 35. Let's bring in a stair rod. It's probably not much good anyway. <laughs> and whatever do you mean? Well, what I mean is uh, we brought this in backwards. You're not saying my house is crooked, are you? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is John probably used it for a pry bar. <laughs> no. I used yeah. that for a pry bar. I mean, it's <laughs> level. Oh, yeah. Well, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Or if something's not, you know, right, I just use it for a hammer. All right. <laughs> Get your tape measure, bring it over 36 inches, unless, or 35 inches, excuse me. And then, after we put this in, there is no changing, David. Then cross your I mean, uh, John. Okay, you're going exactly 35, because you're going to put some trim on the outside, which will make it 36. Right at 35. All right, now what do you got from there to the wall? A splinter. A splinter. We have one splinter. 36. 36. So you're going to have to 35 on that side. That should still give you plenty of room. Because this, well, this won't be here. We'll move this. We'll okay. get that out. So there'll be room to get back there. All right. Well, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Works for me. Works for you? Works for me. You sure? Yep. <laughs> okay. That'll be the coat closet right there where you're at. And this will be Christmas shit. Okay. No, Christmas shit stays upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Halloween, Thanksgiving. Halloween, Thanksgiving. Vacuum right. cleaner. Oh, vacuum, yeah, there vacuum you go. Vacuum cleaner leaves to the table. Yeah, that kind of stuff. yeah. okay. Okay. Um, all right, what do you need? You need a board to come from here to the floor? Well, no, right now what we need is we need one. We're going to need one right there and then one in that corner to support all that stuff. Okay. Because, uh, Really? Are you going to set your stairs on that? Is that what's going to hold it? No, the stairs, this and the piece we put on the floor is going to hold the stairs. And then there will be some in the center, yes. Okay. What I'm trying to do is keep it to where you can still get access under here. Right. Okay. So, but I know we need, definitely need one in that corner. Okay. And we could probably just get by with just one in this corner. Okay. So two two by fours. Do you want, now there's two ways you can do this. You can go up underneath here and then scab on a flat 2x4 here, or you can just go straight against this, but that's not much holding that. Just oh, I'm not, no, this, it's the plywood itself going to be holding everything. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we just need some support for the plywood now. Because all that is we put in there is just kind of just, just kind of a false wall. A big spacer. Yeah. I got like 73, uh, 70, 72 and 7 eighths would work. <laughs> Not here, I got 71 and a half. Okay, 72, what did I just say? Uh, if you cut it 72 and 7 eighths, that would work. Okay. 72 and 7 eighths, and then whatever you said. Damn, lost my pencil, huh? Lost your pencil again. Yeah. Oh, good. There you said. Do you want me to squeeze some of that stuff out of the way? No, that, that's it's, not. It's not in your way? Uh, 72 and 7 eighths, and then whatever you said. I think 71. Seventy one and three quarter would get you right up on the Oh, that's crazy as shit. Yeah, no, I know. You can tell it by this walking from that side to this side, how it kind of drops a little bit. Yeah. 